it's your girl Reese. Guys, welcome back. I want to come back and do a quick tutorial, show you ladies how I actually installed this install, okay? And then also some maintenance tips because what I realized is that you cannot treat these like regular box braids, okay? I'm also gonna tell you about something I tried that was totally different. I've never done it before. So, we're gonna go over how to install, I'm gonna go over some maintenance tips, and then some additional tea on how to take care of this, what we call it, I think I call these what, the Dream of Boho box braids? Dream Bohemian box braids, yeah. All right, so I've already prepped my hair. I, um, this is what it looks like underneath. I sectioned everything off and what I did before I installed anything, I braided my entire head in individuals. There was no rhyme, no reason. I knew I wanted this install to be big and messy and just, you know, yummy. And so this is basically how much hair I had in one section. I did cut a lot of my hair and my, my stylist back home said that only crazy people cut their hair, so I guess I'm crazy. So all you're gonna do, I've already prepped it with some moisturizer, is you're just gonna braid this piece down into a braid and it's so funny because when I first did this install I was really I wasn't really trying to do anything I, it was like so lazy and just so quick and just trying to do something a little different and just be done right and then I've gotten so so many amazing um, so much amazing feedback you guys have been loving it and so funny enough it's actually been one of my favorite installs like and y'all know I love big hair right and this is not big hair but this stuff right here okay it's been giving me life all right so how do we install okay so we got the braid can y'all see the braid y'all see that little yummy little thing okay you can actually see I did like diamond parts for my hair but they are big and they are just all over the place Next, we take our braiding hair, and I'm just reusing the braiding hair that I already have, pre-stretched braiding hair, which is amazing. I have my curls here as well. I'm gonna show you guys what I did to install. I took both pieces apart and extended both sides, so they're almost like the length of the braiding hair. Put all of that together into one. So you got one piece here. Then you're gonna take your latch hook. And I have a really huge latch hook, it's the big one. I don't know where my wooden one is, I still can't find it, I don't know. Maybe like Corona ate it, I don't know. So we're gonna push this through, and we're gonna hook all of the hair. That's why you need the big um, hook. Pull it through, and you're gonna pull the hair all the way through, all of it one complete side of the hair so that you're like this you got three pieces you have the two sides of the hair and then you have your little braid in the middle and then what you're gonna do you're just gonna take a piece of the braiding hair not the crochet hair the braiding hair separate that and you're going to add it to that middle piece so now I have a little piece in the middle connected to my braid you have the two sides and guess what you're gonna do you're just gonna braid down a braid. And what I liked about this was that I, you know, I'm not really good with the <laughs> knotless uh, method. And so I wanted something that I could do where it wasn't this big old knot at the top. Now it is a little bit of a knot there, but it's not like that big, you know, conspicuous knot. knot. <laughs> and so you're gonna braid down. And what I do as I'm braiding down, I'm grabbing the crochet hair flipping it out because I want the crochet hair to come out of the braid. Braid down. And then again, I see another piece that I can pull out on this side. Oh, it looks like I didn't get that piece. It's okay, sometimes you mess up and you keep moving. Ain't no, ain't gonna stop this shine. You go pull that to the side and keep it going. And so with this piece, it looks like I'm only gonna have two pieces because that piece came out. Okay, so you keep braiding down. And once you get to the end of that braid that you added, you're going to separate little pieces from both sides to add to the middle so that that density continues all the way down. Yes. All right. I'm actually gonna add that piece in toward the bottom. <laughs> Let me show you what I do. Cause even when you mess up on camera, listen, we are gonna keep it moving and show y'all how to do it. <laughs> Okay, so that little piece there, I'm going to just add it in, taking one side to this left side, and then I add the other side to the middle, and then keep braiding down. So you're kind of attaching it in, 
And then taking that piece out so that it hangs out in a cute little way. And then you keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. And then I'll show you guys what to do with that end piece. And again, this was like I said, this was like a quick little easy thing because I didn't really, the, the knotless I love, I just didn't have time or even, <laughs> I couldn't commit to like getting those cute little pieces and adding them in as I was braiding. I needed something that was gonna be quick, you know, and simple because I was actually, when I first did these, I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I had my daughter, like I was baby wearing. So I was really just like trying to get it done quick. And so this is how this, um, this install method came about with the latch hook because you can just slip it in and you just braid it down. And because you got the hair coming out, it's just a whole cute situation that I just love. All right, so that's the end. And this is how that one piece looks. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like nasty this up a little bit. Is that even a word? <laughs> nasty it up. So I'm gonna take this eyebrow razor just to kind of like get some of this bulk off because that was like a pretty big piece. And then I'm also gonna do the bottom because it was a little bit too long. So this is what we redid. This is this piece that we redid, the braid rather, and that's what it looks like. And so that's how I installed this entire head. I hope that was pretty simple for you guys to understand. Now, after what I've realized with this install, you know, while you're wearing the hair, like if you're like me and you've got an install in that you're just, you know, wearing it pulled up, then you want to make sure that you're maintaining the crochet curls. Now, the box braid is going to be bomb, okay? They tight, they lit, everything is good there, but the actual crochet hair, what will happen over time if you're not maintaining it, like, you know, separating it, making sure that it doesn't get matted and too tangled where you can't, like, put your fingers through, it'll get to the point where it's, like, knotted and nasty and it's not that cute old. It's that girl you need to do it over old we don't want that right and so what i realized was when i would take it out of the bun just to kind of wear down and just be cute i was going through with my fingers and my fingers were getting stuck because the crochet here was tangled and it wasn't that stuck where i could just kind of easily like finger through it was like boom tight tangled one braid curl the curl from one braid was tied in and, and tangled up and wrapped up with the other braid and so you want to make sure that you're going through your hair your crochet curls and making sure that you are maintaining um those curls just to make sure that they're separated and that there is not a bunch of knots and tangles and what i would just do is go over each braid just take each braid not that you gotta go through the curls on each braid, but just go through each braid and make sure at least each individual braid, the curls are not tangled with another braid. You can also go through the curls on the one braid as well, which I have done because sometimes that curl will get to the point where you can't like get through it easily. I like have been using um, an eyebrow razor to detangle it lately because I feel like you don't lose as much hair. This already is a smaller install. And so you just kind of gently, where that tangle is, just gently go down, pull the hair out, and then you can separate the hair. So again, you wanna make sure that you are maintaining the curls that are attached to the hair. And if you see any visible tangles, just clip it out, clip it out. And like I said, I like to use an eyebrow razor because you don't lose as much hair. You just literally are getting rid of that little knot and you still keep the cute taper ends. The last bit of tea is that I recently connected with an amazing, amazing queen. Um, her name is Camilla, and she wrote a book called Beyond the Braids. And let me tell you about this book. This book is so bomb. It really helped me to have a better understanding of how to take care of my box braids. Because I would say I'm new. Like, when I was in college, I was doing a cute little box braids, and not even, they were small, like, braids or whatever. And I wasn't really, I can't say that I was fully educated on how to take care of the hair underneath with that style. But with this book, she is so detailed on what you need to do week by week as you're wearing your box braids. And even if you don't sit in her chair, it is totally applicable. Like I went through y'all and I got my scalp real good because your girl cheated. What did I do? After I did my curl mix install, I took that install out after a week and then I just threw these box braids back in because... I just didn't feel like washing my hair. So my hair was like needing some TLC. So I used exactly what she said in her book to give my hair some TLC and my scalp felt amazing. And y'all already know I'm a little bit skeptical because I got some postpartum situations going on. But oh my goodness, everything that she said that I did from her book worked for my hair and it feels amazing. There's no, so I wanna recommend that everybody go follow her. I will definitely put her information below so you can find her on Instagram. And that book will change your life if you are a protective styles box braids wearer. It was so, so good. Like things I didn't even think of 
to do with my box braids to keep them healthy and clean and just flourish. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Catch you in my next video. Bye ladies.